Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello, it's Crystal and Leanne, and tonight is Hometown. Oh, shh. Crystal and Leanne's better recap. Yeah. I forgot. It is Hometowns. It is. Hometowns is the only time that I'm missing travel on this show. Yeah. I'm sure these women's families will enjoy Nima Cola just like we all have. I hope to personally visit sometime in the fall in a future. Anyway, it's Hometown <laughs> Night, and we're real excited. We're so excited. Predictions on whose family is going to be wiling out. Wiling out families. Who's left? I feel like Bree's family is going to be wholesome. I feel like Michelle's family is going to be wholesome. Serena's family is going to be wild. Like a fun wild. That's my Yeah, opinion. yeah. Who else is left? Rachel. Oh, yeah. I predict some awkwardness there. Yeah. Me too. Lots of it. I hope it comes up though. We'll see. Michelle has the first hometown and it is so precious. I like teared up multiple times. They show up wearing the exact same outfit. Yep. Hilarious. <laughs> Adorable. And then they go on a bike ride and they have like a Zoom call with her kids. So cute. It, I mean, it brought me to tears. It's just so precious. I have like no question in my mind that she is an excellent person. Like of everyone left, I think she may matches his caliber of human being just like good yeah that's a good assessment one of the kids had on a shirt that said team miss young and in that moment i was like we need those shirts yeah we I do need those shirts 100 team miss young i am too her family also precious i felt like her dad he didn't let matt off the hook just like no questions asked but he was really kind yeah i feel like both parents were very sage both of them had similar input which was we trust you and if you love this guy we're gonna love this guy which i thought was really sweet. I did know that he did not ask, can I marry her? Oh. As they usually do. And as someone who is religious, I was expecting it. I think Ben Higgins did this. Maybe he'll pull a, a phone call right before I don't want to ask. ask because dad. I do think it kind of cheapens it when the guys ask all four dads. Yeah, that's a good point. But then I also did note that he is. she is now the second girl who said, I am falling in love with you and he did not say it back despite saying it back to Rachel. I don't know. I don't see how he could. I know I haven't seen any other dates but just like all of their interactions are so perfect I just don't see as far as like a long-term commitment and lives that fit together I don't know how he doesn't choose Michelle yeah they seem like endgame for sure yeah I loved their date them all playing basketball like <laughs> that was so freaking cute yeah they just seem like just really 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 well matched she's like dad he's teaching inner city kids how to plant fruits and vegetables and I was like <laughs> It's so perfect. They're such excellent human beings. It's just such a power couple. It's just like so rare to like meet two people who are that lovely and are like together. I think the rest of these girls will have a hard time living up to that date. I agree. Next up we have Rachel, aka Rachie. <laughs> Yeah. That's what our sister called her if you missed it. Oh, my like childhood best friend's name is Rachel. I do call her Rachie. Okay, well, did, <laughs> Rachie, did Rachie jump out of a plane and smack onto the ground and all of America go? That's what you get. <laughs> um, No, my Rachie did not have that happen. I'm going to be honest. I mean, I can't believe she didn't need like dental work. Yeah, that looked rough, but it was probably just the angle of it. I'm sure those people are like well-trained to know what to do when that happens. Also, I mean, he did just like leave her laying there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. That is not funny at all. What do you think of her family? Her mom seemed really nice. Her dad. It was like, all like pretty boring to me. It was like your standard like clockwork parent meeting when the daughter is under the age of 25 and yeah. religious. I mean, it's a shame because I get the skepticism. It's a double-edged sword for me because if you're a parent on, on this show and you're like, yeah, get married. Like it's going to be lit. I judge you. But also if you're like, don't you think it's a little soon? I judge you too because I'm like you know what you know what's going on I think that's where I was getting at the difference between like someone's parents who are 24 years old or something like that which I assume is what Rachel is and then like I think she might be yeah and if you're a 30 year old your parents not gonna your parents gonna be like okay that's kind of weird because like I don't understand social media and whatever's happening but like <laughs> you you're 30 you're an adult and he did bring up the whole asking for your blessing thing and it was as you guessed he only wants to ask one dad which is props to Matt um and then I do just have to call 
about, like you said, this is now he said that he's falling in love with her like three or four times, which I don't think he said about anyone else. Yeah, because I really don't see, I'm trying, I know like I have a skewed opinion because of everything that's come out about Rachel, but I just don't see it between them the way I see it between, say, Michelle and him. I feel the same way too, because I will say you were more in the loop on things going on with her than I was, because I tend to find the spoiler if I try to figure out anything. So I wasn't trying to figure out anything until last week. And even before that, even before I knew, I thought he likes her, but I don't know. I don't want to say I don't know why. I mean, she's beautiful or whatever, but like there, there are no like glaring reasons for them to have a connection to me like there are with some of the other people. Yeah, I just don't see a spark between them. And maybe that's just not being shown. But I mean, they're both like very good looking. I guess like she's willing to jump out of a plane, which I wouldn't have been willing to do. Absolutely not. I mean, for (laughs) under any circumstance. I I don't know. But it does seem like according to his words and what has been shown that she would be in the lead. I would think so too. I'm excited to see Bree's day. I personally don't think Serena, I don't think Serena is like crazy about him. But I I do think Bree is crazy about him. And I hope that we see that he is still crazy about her. You know, she's been so gone for so long. I'm very excited. And I think she's up next. Bree is just so perfect. And I want to be her best friend. And I don't want to see her heart get broken. But I'm scared we're gonna. I know I'm scared we're gonna too. She is perfect. I'll tell you why I don't want to be her best friend because she's beautiful. And I think that my confidence will really take it from it. I'm just kidding. But she's beautiful. I thought their date was cute. I'm like not into all this extreme sport. Right. They went on like a Jeep ride. Yeah. I thought that was, that was cute. But uh, yeah, options are just like limited probably. Yeah. That's true. When you're like stuck there. But yeah, she's just, she also seems really, really nice. Yeah. She seems so genuine and like, you yeah, could, it was really hard for her to say, I'm falling in love with you. And she quit her job for him. And it's like, Matt, could you just not say it back? You're starting to make me a little angry. Cause like he did. And- tell. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say the same thing. In both instances, he told the parent with her and Michelle, he told the parent, I'm falling in love with her, but he didn't say it to either of the women and they're the ones who need to hear it. Or I guess not if you're going to send it home. Yeah, that's true. I thought her mom was like kind of tough. I appreciated it. She's playing the role of both parents and she wants to make sure that her daughter's going to be safe. But I have a hard time really with all of these things because I just think the process is so antiquated. Like if my parents were like, oh, I don't like Matt, I'd be like, oh, sorry, I do. <laughs> like, like I'm an adult. Bree's younger than I thought too. She's, I just looked it up because I was like, she just carries herself so well. Is she like 30? But she's only 24. I'm like not super excited because I, I do think he'll let her go. Maybe even like tonight. No, no. Serena is going home tonight. We shall see. I wish I was recording when Matt called a winter hat a toboggan because I have never loved him more. What do you call winter hat? I also call them toboggans, which here in Ohio is just like an unheard of thing. Like we do colloquialisms at work a lot because people think it's like hilarious that I'm from West Virginia. And I have always called it a toboggan. Amen. And I will and always a, call it a toboggan. <laughs> and a toboggan gets no representation in the winter it hat. It really day. doesn't. So Matt, no. bless you. <laughs> Let us know below what you call a winter hat. And if you call it toboggan, you're right. Plus 10 points for Gryffindor if you call it a toboggan. Also, <laughs> while we're at it, what do you call the rolly thing at the grocery store? It's a buggy. It's period. a buggy. <laughs> period. Had no idea that Loma Serena was Canadian. Would have loved No that. idea yeah. at all. And I feel like usually they kind of like really make that known. Like if you think back to Vanessa. Caitlin Bristow. Caitlin Bristow. Plus Canada. also you can usually tell she has like no accent at all. Yeah, I love Canada. We named our dog Maple partially because of Canada. So I love that. And I like that she was the only person who made up a date that like had anything to do with her hometown. It was really cute. I'm not crazy about the two of them together, but I do think as far as... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like they're both like, you know, goodbye. Like, it'll be okay. Yeah, I um, think they would agree. But I do me. think props to her for picking a date where A, you can talk to each other and B, he gets a taste of you know, where he's either about to live or spend his holidays. And Nobody else did that. Privately talking about healthcare, Leanne and I earlier and to me it's partially like, how could you not pick the girl from Canada and become partially Canadian citizenship? Come on, Matt. But 
I don't know that Matt's going to have the choice because as you actually called earlier in the recap, I guess Serena's family also noticed that she might not be totally smitten with him. Yeah, which I, I liked her family. I do want to say that her family seemed yeah. really, really nice. And they're all like just like insanely good looking. But I will say though, she almost seemed take, it was like they told her she didn't like him. And she was like, oh my God, I'm literally shocked that I don't like him. It was a little <laughs> was strange. Weird. I do think it's kind of like the people that know you best, maybe just like, you know, brought out those concerns that she must have already been having. Yeah. Like, hey, get your head out of the cloud. You're not super into this person. <laughs> they kind of made the writing on the wall. It looks like Serena might be going home, but... I guess we'll see. Her family was definitely yeah. solid. I would, if I had to pick a family out of the bunch, I'd be like, oh, those, the Canadians. I did love Michelle's family too, but yes, she had a great, I mean, like everybody's family has been pretty good, but definitely I am like golden stars to Michelle's family and Serena's family. Oh, I guess all we have left is a rose ceremony. Seems like a There's lot of like time. so for much rose. time left. Yeah. yeah. Drama must ensue. A new girl shows up tonight. <laughs> Matt decides to spend some more time with Serena, at After which point... Being the contestant who has had two one-on-one, which is crazy. It is crazy. And I felt like what he said was like super just eloquent. He said, I have spent the most time with you and that's been intentional. And so it makes what she does even harder to watch. Which is basically like, bye! Yeah. I mean, I felt like she was really nice about it and I really can't knock anyone for, for doing that. Like, obviously don't go through was such a huge life-changing thing if you're not feeling it. And I know some people will say, well, she should have figured it out beforehand. But I think most of us have been in life situations or relationship situations where we feel one way about it until the stakes are really high. And then we're like, oh crap, no, actually. (laughs) Yeah. But on the flip side of that, I feel like Matt only really showed that he was into her because she was leaving. I feel like had she stayed, she still might've gone home. And it was like her leaving that made him think, oh my God, wait, I really have feelings for her. Yeah, I think that that high stakes work, unfortunately, opposite for them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think she was like, oh, crap, I'm maybe not as into him as I should be. And he was like, oh, crap, I'm way more into her than I thought I was. And I thought for a moment in his silence after she said, you're not my person, he had kind of like, <laughs> like a devious smile. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we're going to see him snap right now. But it looked like he really like counted backwards from 10, <laughs> pulled it together. I mean, he cried over it. So yeah, she really meant a lot to him. And then the rose ceremony was just, you know, had to do it, I you guess. You get a rose, you get a rose, you get a Everyone rose. Everyone gets the rose. So yeah, Serena left and it was, you know, the writing was on the wall the whole episode anyway, but Brie, Michelle, and Rachel will go on to Fantasy Suite. Yes, they will. And I mean, so is next week Women Tell All? That's what it sounded like. First we get a Women Tell All and then we have Fantasy Suite. Okay, so we still have like a few weeks left. Yeah, so three weeks left. I'm guessing Women Tell All is going to be one to tune in for, guys guys and we'll be here to tell you what we think about it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be wild. I mean, there's no way it couldn't be. Like they're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be crazy. The in the time they've been away. Who was your favorite of the week? I'm going to give my rose to Michelle. Like, I love, I love everyone. I love Michelle, Brie, and Serena. <laughs> but definitely, definitely Michelle. She's just like an excellent person. Yeah, solid. Team Miss Young t-shirt. I'm sure they're on the internet right now. <laughs> Find them on Etsy. My He Loves Me Not rose goes to Rachel. Probably just, Rachel. I mean, it's just hard not to give her to her at this point. Point, take it all apart, take it all separate it. Only this episode, I just don't like her vibe, and I haven't liked her vibe from the beginning, even before I knew any whisper about her. So, I mean, I can't say that, but I would say if I even take out all the ways I'm feeling about her, I do think she kind of wandered an opportunity to have some time together. Like, I think what they did was obviously that's cool, obviously, it's once in a lifetime, but you guys were in a noisy helicopter, you didn't even get to talk to each other. Like, just time is so precious. Yeah. Get to know each other. You make a good point. Yeah. All right. Well, we can't wait for Woman Tell All. That we can. Matt's beard, I cannot. Cannot either. Okay. Yeah. Maybe for a movie part or something. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Until next week, roll, roll side. side.